in worst wrong turn ever news, submitted by Bart's PR song. What is it? Uh, one of my favorite ones is the the uh, fucking problems. I love bad bitches, but <laughs> <laughs> the stripper song. Is it a stripper song? I don't know. I love I love that song. Mm -hmm. It's two chains. Who's it? Oh. Two chains. A bunch of people on two chains ASAP. I love bad bitches. That's my fucking problem. Oh, that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. should post me up. A British family was jailed after crossing into the U.S. from the Canadian border. I heard about this. Ooh. What? I know we moved past this, but now I'm curious. What's your PR? Both song? borders. Um, what's my PR song? Do you have a some uh, couple go-to jams? I only listen to metal in my gym. I only listen to either like Metallica or heavy metal or Ariana Grande. What the fuck? I like Ariana Grande too. It's either too. one or the other. What's what Ariana Metallica Grande song? song? I love. Um, I love. Um, Thank you. I next. Got I got it. Oh, I like that I one. Know. I like all of them, but I like love Thinking Next. I don't know that. I one. like Thinking Next, but I like Which the. Which one's that one? The one you're doing. I'm not about to sing it for you. Do it, do it. Okay, do no it. one's watching do anyway. It. Do it. Um, it's like the. It's like her album cover song. It's like um, when life is a home. I don't know the words. <laughs> Make everything taste like it's sour. When mm. you come through like the sweet, no, you are the thing that brings the taste. To a home and money. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I know the song, but I don't know the lyrics either. I don't know the lyrics, yeah. You sing really good. Do you deadlift to that song or squat to that song or bench to that song? Uh, both. But sometimes bench, I need a little bit more Metallica kind of. You know, because you lift, I keep thinking that you have chalk dust on your shoulders. No, oh, it's tie dye. I know. It's fake tie dye. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. You know, you got the chalk dust. She came straight from the gym. Yeah. I, do, I should do like a shirt that's like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Just steal this design. <laughs> Okay, so this story here, this British family, British. they were, they're claiming that they have been heavily mistreated by the US government. Oh no. So they were saying that they were on vacation in Canada. Playing an ass red coats. <laughs> red coats. <laughs> so Go back to your country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> red coats. <laughs> yeah, so then, um, so they were saying that they were on vacation and they were also, so it's Eileen who's 24 with her husband David who's 30 and their three month old baby. Oh. Come on Eileen. Very young. <laughs> Wait, why are you going on a road trip in Canada with a three month year old from the UK? So Something's fishy. Exactly, right? So the then, adventurous. Uh, so they're also <laughs> saying, <laughs> it's a stretch. So they were also with another couple and like with twin uh, kids. So Creepy. Total of seven people. And so they claimed that they were on this road and they had to swerve quickly to avoid an animal which took them to, onto a small road. And then the right after the that, US. yeah, that right after <laughs> that happened, uh, that's when all of these like border patrol people came in and they, they arrested them and said, you entered the US illegally without being inspected. That's illegal, you're going to jail. And so they ended up taking them to a jail and they were just detailing how horrible, horrible of an experience they had. How like her husband was taken to a freezing cell, and kind of how she, cold. how she had to be in a separate cell like with the baby, but it was so cold. And mm. they, they, they just got those um, metallic mylar emergency blankets. Oh like yeah, it's like foil almost. It looks like foil. Oh. And so that's all they had, and they were forced to sleep on the floor. And cause she was trying to like keep the baby warm uh, on, on her chest, mm -hmm. but then like he would like slide off and then like. I would use the baby as a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense than a blanket, huh? It's so small. Yeah. Well, she's trying to keep the baby warm. So then, um, they create a lot of heat. You'd be surprised. I keep the baby warm with the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, they're now claiming that the baby has blotchy skin and a possible oh. eye infection oh. from this. Oh, and then at one point that the baby was left completely naked for several hours Whoa. in what? the cold jail when his clothing and blankets were taken to be washed. So, how long were they detained for? Um, so they're saying So, like initially they went to like a first jail and then they told them that they were going to be picked up by family in the US. And mm -hmm. so they were Oh, then, so they have family in the U.S. That's how they're reporting this, oh. and then they said that you can't just get picked up. Yeah, so if then you're crossing they said, illegally, right? So then they said, uh, and they were just like, "We just want to go home. This is horrible. Like, we don't want to be here. It was by accident. We didn't even mean it." 
And then after that, they went to an airport. Oh, because then they said, no, you're not, you're not being picked up. We're gonna take you to an airport. And then that's when they thought they were gonna be going home. But instead, they went from Seattle to Pennsylvania, where is one of three um, de detention centers for immigrants. And so that's where they were taken. And then that's where they were just having like a horrible, horrible oh, nightmare. Oh, did they split up the baby? No, so okay, she, like she was claiming that if, cause she was like, how can I keep my baby in this freezing cold cell? Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, we can take the baby away from you. <gasps> yeah, according to her. So there's just, this is the couple. Oh, they look like some Geordie Shore kind of. What the hell was this oh. picture taken in the 80s? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're from the Geordie Shore. <laughs> Damn. Uh, or they're from Essex. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> oh! That's like New Jersey of uh, Britain. Yeah, it's like Jersey Shore of Britain. Mm. Yeah. But I was so. To me, it doesn't seem like. Like, how do you accidentally yes. cross the border? And. If your animal turned you around, wouldn't you go back on the road you came yeah. from? Yeah. Like, right. I think you have to go out of your way to cross the border. Because I've never seen an entry point to the US from coming from Canada. I mean, I've only been a few places in Canada coming, crossing the border, but I've never seen an entry point that was just like, I've never heard of an entry point that was just like a yeah. small road. And it's not like they're trying to trap you, like, oh, I wouldn't imagine. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, I would assume that they're not trying to trap you and like, ooh, you went down the wrong road, you're going to jail. Like, I think yeah. there, there'd probably be signs that are like, yeah. you are now crossing the US border, right? I mean, maybe if you're in like backcountry farmland, then they might not have those borders like that, but I'd what imagine- What kind of road trip is this? Don't you have a map when you're on a so road trip? They were trip? saying that they were just trying to get back to their hotel. Like they didn't know that they were in the US. They didn't have GPS, huh? And now they've been traumatized. So um, this happened on October 3rd, and to my knowledge, they're still detained, I think. Oh, shit. So wait, so, did they check the hotel records like that they didn't check out of the hotel, or were they still supposed to be in, going there? Now they're saying, they're reporting that this couple intentionally go, like went into the US. Yeah, so their, like they their vehicle was, <laughs> their vehicle was captured on video quote, slowly and deliberately driving through a ditch. Did they have like American flags going like, <laughs> Yeah, to enter the US. Through a ditch? <laughs> yeah, through a ditch. Why didn't they just enter normally? So it, and so it turns Ooh. out. They're they felons. Had, they had previously applied to enter the US, but they had wow. been denied. So they wanted to be illegal immigrants. I think so. Yeah. Or they just wanted to travel for fun. <laughs> Nah. Wait, so people from the UK need visas? Yeah. I don't know. I knew a guy from England, he got deported because his- I didn't need a visa or we didn't need- Or work travel, travel visa. visa though. Yeah. Well, it's different it's from- There to here? Every every country is different. Yeah. That's why like sometimes people get so excited about traveling to other countries. I'm like, yo, border police are scary in every country. Yeah. And you sometimes need to apply for a specific visa yeah. just to go for a few days. Yep. People don't always know that. Like, there's oh, some things you can't take in certain countries. Yeah, some countries, yeah, like, the more friendlier we are with these countries, like, if you go to Japan, right, I think the, you could be there for 30 days or something, or 60, without a visa. Yeah. You could you could go in, do whatever you want, you just stamp your passport. So this um, one says, British citizens do not need a visa to visit the US, but they do need to apply online for an electronic authorization. Mm -hmm. Mm. So we can keep track of how long you've been there. Yeah, if you're from the UK, you even if you don't apply and like have a paperwork for a visa, you still enter on a visa. Like it's a tourist visa. Right? Yeah. But you don't really need much for it. But if you break the contract to that visa, then that's when you fuck shit up. Yeah. And it seems like that's what that's their intention since mm. they did all this. Damn, that's yeah, like scary. if you're, let's say I'm like Oh, I was just going on a road trip in South Korea. I didn't mean to enter North Korea. Oh, you know, like no. they're gonna you can't just break borders like that and then expect nothing to happen. And then also the US is denying their claims of being mistreated. Yeah, that's true. It's all what they're saying. That, I don't you know. don't know. I've never been there. Have so. you seen Orange is the New Black? Yeah. No. That's my that's my um, show. Recent show where they show like the life not that it's obviously it's fiction. You just started but, it? Well, the last season they give some 
storylines on women who get finished with their sentence and then they're in a um, like ICE detention hall because they weren't citizens of the United mm -hmm. States, but they were serving their time mm -hmm. and then they're in a detention hall. Yeah after their imprisonment yeah. um, to make their case for staying in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so they have that whole storyline, which I didn't even know that was wow. a thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. They thought they were going home and then yeah. I saw that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. But it looks shit on the show, yeah. so I imagine it's a glamorized version of what it actually is. Yeah, but this, um, but initially when this was being reported, everyone was just like, British family jailed after mistakenly yeah. crossing Canadian border into U.S. Like, poor them. They just, they accidentally. To swore. me, it was just fishy. Just, it just seemed crazy. And and but I mean, y'all are good detectives because you called it out. And I'm like, yeah, I I I, I didn't want to like go based off of what they were saying, but it just seemed kind of odd that they went in a like a country road or whatever, and all of a sudden they're surrounded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because most entry points are pretty official. Yeah. There's people there. There's like a big old sign. Yeah. Because to me, I would have thought smugglers. Yeah. Human smugglers or uh, drug smugglers. Or fugitives. Yep. Yeah. Usually, you know, you don't think like good people made are taking them. back roads in, you know, in the freezing cold. <laughs> yeah. Like if they're talking about it being freezing cold. So what about the other family? They're detained as well, mm -hmm. or they were traveling with them? As far as I know, they were detained as well. And how bad of a, you know, what kind of a record that they had that they couldn't come into the States? That's right. my real question, yeah. Or maybe they were here and, and, they, and they, up. they overstayed their visa. Uh, that could be it too. Yeah. And then you can't come back. Because I know some back. British people who overstay their visas and then they get in trouble. Yeah, and they can't come back. Are they I worker mean, outers? Well, one of the cases I know is a guy who has a a girlfriend who's from the US and he was just like, yeah, I'll come to the US for like two months and then I leave for a week and then I come back. I'm like, it was none of my business, but I'm like, you probably shouldn't do that. Like that's, that's illegal. You're like finding a loophole in the system when you should stay. Tourist visa from the UK, you can stay for six months and then that's like, you can't just leave the country for one day and come back. And that's kind of what he tried to do. Oh, I see. Assuming that he could just get a new tourist visa, but you can't, uh. you can't do that. And that, that will like fuck up your life because you can never come, I mean, depending on how good like your legal team is, you can never come back in the country. Um, Ryan just got his green card and they asked him, he's Canadian, my fiance, and they asked him in the meeting, they said, what happened in 2005 when you entered the US border? And he was like, I don't know, I was like 14. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't remember what happened. Like, I can't remember what happened, but something was flagged in the border wow. police system to where they bring it up. So it's like anything wow. that goes wrong in that process, they will bring up. One time I went from Canada to the US for like one day, I was staying in Canada for a few months, or yeah, for a few months, but I was like still obeying my visa, tourist visa, and the border police questioned me so much. The Canadian border police, police. Yeah. they questioned me so much just saying like, I mean, that's how it should be. It's They're suspicious. like, you trying to marry him for like citizenship, huh? Well, it's suspicious if an American traveler leaves for one day and goes back right away. It's like, what are you, what are you trying home. to do? Maybe. Mm. Yeah. I didn't turn off the stove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, your house? You live here? Are you trying to live here? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm.